Right now, people living on the west coast of Florida are bracing for the impact after a late shift in Irma's track is now putting them in the path of the hurricane and folks it's way too late to evacuate there. Florida emergency management officials say at least 51,000 people are now at 300 designated shelters ahead of the hurricane. And as Irma bears down on the Florida coastline, many in Georgia are already bracing for the destructive hurricane headed to our state. Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb is monitoring the path of this Category 3 hurricane. And Chris, uh, you're expecting it to get stronger as it slams into Florida? Yes, that's exactly right. Right now, we've been watching the center of the storm. It's a Category 3 with maximum sustained winds of 125 miles an hour, but it's been brushing right along the north shore of Cuba. So with that friction on the south side, it has gone to a Category 3. It's beginning to make that turn now, and as it does, it's going to be over the very warm waters, and we do believe it'll come back up to a Category 4. We are already experiencing tropical storm force winds in the Florida Keys and South Florida. Even tornado warnings in effect there along the Keys and these outer bands causing severe weather in South Florida and more of that rain moving up to around Jacksonville. Here are the latest stats on it. 125 mile an hour winds moving west northwest at nine miles an hour. It's taking that turn as we go through the nighttime hours and there you see it becoming back up to a category four brushing the southwest Florida coastline coming in most likely as a four between Fort Myers and the Tampa area. It'll be a, a lot of storm surge there. And then as it moves into uh, Georgia, it'll be a category one here on a Tuesday morning, Monday morning actually. And then it will lose its hurricane strength, become a tropical storm and then a depression on that track that is just to the west of the Atlanta area. And with us being on the east side, we will have the potential for severe weather here on Monday and also into Tuesday. Very high winds and some very heavy rain. In fact, we've got a flash flood watch in effect and the National Weather Service and the Hurricane Center have extended the tropical storm watch up into parts of central Georgia. It's not included for our area. Stay with us.